Ladies and gentlemen, guys and girls, my name is Raven and welcome back to For Honor. Today I'm going to be giving you my Peacekeeper Basic to Advanced Guide. So what that means is I'm going to go through in the practice mode. I'm going to show you guys exactly what the Peacekeeper moves look like. And I'm going to tell you some advanced techniques that the in-game tutorial doesn't show you too well. And stuff you just learn from just versing high level players and working it out as you go along. So I'm going to jump into that and I shall show you guys exactly how this works. Now if you want to practice... For those of you who don't know, you go down here to how to play. Go against the level 0 bot. They basically just do nothing but stand there and let you fuck them up. A level 1 bot will attack you. It's not too difficult, but you want to move on to that once you learn the moves. But let's get started with the level 0 bot. Alright guys, so the first move we're going to look at is Twisting Blades. Now it's just two light attacks into a heavy and it looks like this. Boom. Now, what you want to do with this is, once again, you just want to change up the direction you're going from. So you want to go one there, one there, and then heavy to the side. It just keeps people distracted and they don't really know where you're going to go from. You go there, there, and then up top. And that's what that one looks like. The next move we're going to look at is Dervish Strike. So that's just a light attack into a heavy. It looks like this. Boom. Does a bunch of damage. Once again, all you really want to do with this is you want to go from one side and then switch to the other. Boom. Go up top and then switch to the right hand side, whichever way you want to go. The next one we're looking at is Cold Sword Dance. It's just two heavies. So boom and boom. Now keep in mind Peacekeeper has the fastest light attacks in the game. So you want to abuse that later on. But the heavies as well, they do a fair bit of damage. But once again, they're slow like a heavy. So you want to be careful with them because people can parry you if you take too long or you just use it and telegraph it too much. Now, the next one we're going to look at is called Slipping Lunge, okay? So what that is when you're in free uh, roam mode and you're not in guard stance, as you're running, you press X and you'll slip in and you'll grab him into a guard break. Now, the move that this follows up into, which I'll show you now, is called Stab. It's called the Grab and Stab. So what this is, is when you get in and you grab them, so you run in, Slipping Lunge, stab them. One, two, three. Okay, now keep in mind that right now there is a bug with the Peacekeeper's grab and stab. What it's supposed to do is every time you stab with a light attack, it's supposed to apply a bleed. Right now the bug is that the last two uh, stabs you do don't apply the bleed. So it's kind of fucked at the moment. So it should do more damage than what it shows. Um, I know they were supposed to nerf it where everyone's hoping it's a bug and it's not working because if they nerfed it to how much it does now, it's fucking useless. But yeah, so keep in mind that is a thing. But what that looks like is you got to get the timing with it. After you guard break him, you want to go one, two, three on your light attacks. If you spam your light attack, it's only, it's going to fuck out and only do like one. So if I just spam, see, it's only going to do one attack. So you want to make sure that when you do your light attacks, it goes like this. Light, light, light. So you want to have that much time in between them in order to get all three stabs out. Light, light, light. So with this move, make sure, like I said, you practice that timing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so just get that in mind, practice it on the bots, once you get it, you'll be unstoppable with that. Alright, so the next one we're going to look at is called Deep Gouge. Now, what this does is, when you go for a heavy attack, normally instead of doing a feint like that, <laughs> all that is is just heavy attack into B on the startup of the move. Okay, it's like that, oh you can do it like that, so that's a feint. Okay, what this move is, instead of using B to cancel your heavy attack, you're going to use a light attack to cancel your heavy attack, okay? So you go for the heavy attack into a light, and you'll stab your dagger forward and do a bleed on it. It's fucking cool. Boom, just like that. So heavy, light, and you'll do that. It's the exact same principle you want to do it in the startup. If you leave it too long, it won't work and the heavy will go through. So if I go there into a light, not going to work because I left it too long. So you want to make sure as you get the swing going, you hit your light attack. Boom, and you'll do your bleed. Next, we're going to look at Dashing Thrust. I love this move, and it also goes into something a bit more advanced. So it's nice and simple, guys. You move forward on your movement stick. You press A, which is your dash, and then you hit him with a heavy attack. Looks like that. Now, one advanced move with the Peacekeeper that you need to keep in mind, and once I learned this, man, it fucking the amount of damage you can put out is insane. After every single heavy attack, you can follow it up with a light attack and it will put a bleed on, okay? And it's a guaranteed hit as long as you hit him with the first heavy. And it looks like this. You can do it off that move. So what that is, is you jump in your heavy, boom, bleed. That's a light attack straight afterwards. Now, the way this works is you want to wait till your heavy attack hits the target. Once your heavy attack hits the target and you hear that stab sound, then you want to hit your light attack. Hit it too soon, it's not going to work. So jump, heavy, bleed. So let's get that practice. Jump, heavy, light. Jump, Heavy, light. 
and it works with anything else. You can go into a bleed straight afterwards. Heavy attack here. Bleed straight afterwards. Any direction you want to go from. Up top. As long as you hit the target with your first heavy and you go for that light attack, you will get an instant bleed on them. So next one we're going to look at is the side strike. Now this is the same as say the Orochi or the Berserker, except what you do is instead of a light attack, you use a heavy attack. So you go to the side, heavy attack, and it looks like that. Boom. Like I said, you want to use this mainly when people attack. Don't just do it because if you just, if they're standing there and you go like this, it's a heavy attack. They're just going to wait, hit it, parry it, and then fuck you up. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to wait. So if they attack from the left, dodge to the left, heavy attack. They, will, they attack from the right, dodge to the right, heavy attack. Of course, if they attack from the top, you can go whichever way you want because a strike is coming down. Now, once again, we're going to use that advanced move where what we do is, so you say they attack from the right, you want to dodge, heavy attack, into a light and you'll do the bleed. They attack from the left, heavy attack, bleed, okay? They attack from the top, you wanna to dodge, heavy attack. Same thing, same principle, and it's just, no matter what they're doing, you're countering what they're doing, and you're just bleeding them out and slowly killing them. Now, we've already gone over the grab and stab. Uh, one, two, three. And the last move we're gonna go off is reposting stab, which I will be able to show you uh, pretty soon. What that is, is if you dodge into an attack, okay, at the last second before it hits you, you will catch them on your blade, and you'll light attack straight after that, and you'll put a bleed on them. All right, guys, and that is the basic move set for the Peacekeeper. Now I'm gonna jump into a game against a level one bot and just show you how it all combos together so you can get a general idea of what the fuck it looks like to actually put all of these in practice. Alright guys, so we're in a game with a level 1 bot, and I'm going to show you guys what all this looks like, all combo together, okay? So what you want to do is you want to run in and get your bleed off the bat, with your grab and stab. You want to jump away because he's going to try and swing at you. Go in for the dash into a heavy. Boom, light bleed. Boom, light bleed. That's what I was talking about before. How whichever way they swing from, you want to kind of go from there. That is what that looks like, the parry. So as you go into it, I'll see if I can do it again. Boom, right in. So you want to time that to the last second when he swings. And then go into a light. Light attack. Light attack. And then you get that bleed off of that parry. Give him a quick grab and stab. See where he attacks from. Nice quick light. Nice quick light. Boom. So with that, when it comes to those parries, you literally just want to sit there and just wait last second timing into a dodge and die from the bleed. Once you get that timing down pat, you can pretty much just sit there and just counter every single thing they do. Which way is it going to go for? Him? Boom, light attack. Light attack. And as you can see, it's just, you can just chain it all day long and boom. <laughs> It's one of the most beautiful moves in the game. Now, one thing you can remember, your attacks are really quick. So if you time it perfectly, you, you can heavy and cancel it with a light to get that nice bleed effect. So then all you want to do, guys, is heavy into a light, get a nice like that. Quick dodges. Do a light attack bleed. Heavy, light attack bleed. Get for a nice stab and grab. Jump back, jump back. You want to go in for that little dash, boom. Heavy into a light attack bleed. Now we're out of stamina, so we're going to move back. Whoop. Hello, mate. You just got so much mobility, so keep that in mind, guys. You don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with people. You want to just sit there, go in and out, poke the shit out of them, just absolutely fucking ruin their day. Light attack. Quick. Boom. Parry that. Light attack. Heavy into a stab. Cancel. So remember guys, bleeds are your bread and butter. Once you learn how to do that heavy into a light and just basically lights after your heavies, especially with the cancels, once you learn that, you'll be on easy street. That is basically the crux of the uh, peacekeeper right here. It's all about those timings and getting those bleeds happen. Okay? Nice little execution for you. So guys, that is the Peacekeeper Basic to Advanced Guide. Now you know all of the moves that are available to the Peacekeeper, some advanced ones, all the basic ones. And you can just slot it in as you go along. Remember, practice makes perfect. And thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. I shall see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.